So they got this testing site right next to a supermarket. In fact, several supermarkets. So I'm riding my bike right now to go get a Corona test because I was feeling a bit sick, nothing too much, just fatigue, small cough, but better safe than sorry. So let's see what happens. There it is, the test pavilion. Let's see what happens. Wish me luck. Okay, I just got my test. It was relatively quick. I made an appointment online, uh, biked here for 20 minutes in Amsterdam North. Uh, got in, showed them my ID. They directed me to a booth. And then I went in. Um, it took around five minutes. They made me blow my nose, clean my nose. Then they stuck a six inch swab first through my throat and then another one through my nose. Uh, a bit uncomfortable, but it was relatively quick and I'm, now I'm done. And I'll wait 48 hours to see the results. So they got this testing site right next to a supermarket. In fact, several supermarkets. I would not want to go shopping, grocery shopping here. Probably the most dangerous place to go shopping. So I'm running back now and I've been thinking a lot, like I usually do. And I'm glad I decided to take the test because I was thinking that I would skip it. Uh, why? I think it's because of the potential shame that, oh, what if I do have COVID? What would people think? And then I thought, okay, what if I do have it and I potentially infect someone? That would be way worse. And so it's the responsible thing to do. So I'm glad I did it. And I guess now I can only hope that it comes up negative. And if it's positive, then I'll take the precautions I need to do. Okay, the results are in. The moment of truth. I just got the email. Well, I got the email a few hours ago, but I've been waiting and waiting and waiting some more and becoming a lot more nervous. So let's just open the email and find out. Okay, so this is the email and it's telling me I have to go to this Corona website, coronatest.nl, and then I want to know the result. Getting a bit nervous. Okay, I have to log in. So I'm going to zoom past this. Okay, the moment of truth. I want to know the result. Yes! The test result is negative. That means you didn't have Corona at the time. <sighs> What a relief, what a relief. It just means I was sick, um, maybe a cold, maybe it was the flu, but I'm glad that I tested negative and now I can inform my friends and colleagues that I'm negative. Maybe I have the cold, maybe I have the flu, something else. So, uh, feel a lot better. Hello, it's the day after and I feel a lot better, a lot more relieved. Still feeling a bit sick, but good thing it's not coronavirus. And I've had some time to think about the past few days, and I'm glad I took the test. It was relatively quick, easy, and it was a responsible thing to do. I remember not wanting to take the test because one, I was lazy, but two, the potential shame that I would have if I did get COVID. But then I thought about it, I have a flatmate whose father is in the risk group, so it was responsible for me to take the test. And getting the test was easy, it was quick. I went on a website, made an appointment on the same day, biked for 20 minutes, got there, and I was in and out within 10 minutes, and I got the result in 24 hours by email. It was quick, it was easy, but I think the, the tricky situation nowadays with the winter is if you do have the cold or a flu, you just never know. And 
it's a tricky situation. I remember just smelling things and my hands every 20 minutes smelling the coffee beans, smelling random things just to make sure I still had my sense of smell and taste as well. So it's tr tricky nowadays, but it was relatively a smooth process. It was quite anxious, of course, and opening up that email was kind of like opening up my college acceptance letter. But again, I'm glad now and that I can move forward, but have to continue taking precautions because we're still in this pandemic together. So anyways, hope this was helpful and happy 2021.